Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. Today I am sitting in a 2007 Subaru Outback and in this video I will show you how to remove the radio unit. So in case your radio is not powering up or there is no sound coming from the speakers, you might want to remove the radio and check all the connections behind it. This video will apply to Subaru Outbacks made from 2003 all the way up to 2009. Before starting to remove the radio, we'll have to remove the middle console. So pretty much to get the radio out, you have to remove everything starting from here all the way up to here because there are a couple of screws just behind here which have to be removed. Okay, to start, first you want to lift this middle console cover up and inside you'll want to remove this uh, small cover as well and underneath it you will have two screws this one here and this one here these both need to be removed you can use either a phillips screwdriver or a 10 millimeter socket whichever is easier for you okay so these are the screws once removed now this uh, back end of the console will, will be completely loose and the next thing you want to do, you want to pop out this front end of the middle console. Now I have this uh, plastic trim remover, which is the best tool for this kind of things. If you don't have it, you can use like a flat screwdriver or, or anything similar. Okay, so pretty much you want to just pop this up. Just like that. Okay, now this is... Now this side is loose as well. Now one more thing, um, you want to lift up the handbrake and you also want to pop out this like uh, leather, leather cloth piece that's surrounding the, the handbrake. So pretty much you also want to pry it here. In this case, I'll have to use my flat screwdriver and just remove it, you see? It also goes apart, so what you want to do, you want to go all around and just pop uh, pop all this out. Okay, sorry I had to use both of my hands for a while there, but this is the idea. I want to pop this piece out. There's just a couple of clips holding it on the back side, and that way you'll be able, able just to remove and lift up this uh, middle console, and this piece stays here because it's not on the way for anything else. And to completely remove the console, you just want to lift it up like this, and there will be just one connection here on this side, so passenger side, there will be like a small clip to press, and you just want to press it and wiggle this connection off and that way you can completely remove this console and that's it once the middle console is off the way next thing to do would be to pop out this uh, trim piece and this small chrome piece that surrounds the shifter to do that again you want to use your plastic trim remover or something similar just to pretty much pry it out there is no screws just plastic clips holding it in place and you want to go gently again all around and just uh, keep popping it up until you get it off Okay, this is this piece. This is the other piece. Okay, now this trim piece will not be removable until you actually make a bit more space for it. Um, so it's probably not a bad idea just to remove this shifter cap. You can remove it just by turning it counterclockwise. So that's quite easy to do and hopefully that will give us enough space to remove this plastic. Okay. Okay, this is still not gonna work. 
okay so the next thing to do actually would be to pop out this small plastic cover right here and then we'll be able to once we insert the key here then we'll be able to pull the shifter a bit lower to remove this plastic okay so to pry this cover you want to use like a small flat screwdriver just to pry it off just like this it has like two small plastic clips so be careful not to break it and once you've done that you just want to press inside with either a key or anything else there's like a button inside and once you press this button you can pretty much um, move the shifter uh, as low as you want okay i'm trying to work with one hand here but anyways okay and by by doing this now you can remove this cover on the back of the cover you will still have this uh, cigarette lighter attached so there is like a small plastic clip right here which you want to press and pull the wire out and that way you'll be able to completely remove this next thing to do would be to remove these two phillips screws this one and this one and that way you'll be able to pop out this uh, plastic silver trim pieces on the side Now gently pop out these trim pieces, be careful not to break them. There's again a couple of clips just holding them in place. So just pull towards yourself, you can see, just like I said, three clips on each side. Okay, by doing that we gain access to the screws which are actually holding the radio in place. Now you will have four screws on each side to remove, so there will be one here, one up here, one here at the top and one just there far in the back. So four of them on each side, so the other side will be completely the same. So here, here, one deep inside and one here on top. Okay, once you have all the screws out, you can kind of partially pull the radio out. You won't be able to completely remove it. So just pull it up to here, I would say. And now what you want to do, you still want to unscrew these climate controls. So there will be a couple of screws here on the side. I hope you can see them. This guy and this guy right here and you'll have two of the same kind on the left side as well so you want to remove those once these are out like unfortunately these climate controls will still not separate um, they really made it complicated so what i suggest doing next is removing this uh, faceplate it's held by just a couple of screws there will be one here one on the left side at the same position and you will have two on the top so one here and one right here so remove those reason being because these climate controls actually have to fall down to separate from the radio unit but this side of climate controls is kind of too tight inside so by removing this faceplate hopefully there will be more place to work okay now this faceplate will just actually pop off you can completely remove it and that way you'll get more access uh, to those climate controls and to the actual radio okay now you can remove this faceplate which is actually part of the radio here is the motherboard and now you want to unplug these uh, hazard lights that's quite easy you just want to press onto this clip here and pull it out okay and by removing this faceplate actually we were able to separate uh, the radio from the climate controls and now what you want to do you just want to pull out this radio unit that way you won't have to deal with disconnecting all the wires from the climate controls 
you just have to disconnect the wires from the back side of the radio okay and this is the video how you can pull out the radio on the 2007 Subaru Outback thank you for watching my video I hope it was at least a bit helpful if it was please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel on my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.